we're going to talk about the hidden cause of a manganese deficiency. Now, first, let me just give you some basics on what manganese does in the body. It does a lot. It's a trace mineral, which means it's a mineral that you don't need in large amounts. You need it in small amounts. And if you're deficient, it creates all sorts of big problems. Most of the manganese in your body is located in your mitochondria, the energy factory of the body. Now, why do we need it in there? Because this trace mineral is involved in many enzymes, okay? So it's kind of like a essential uh, helper element in these enzymes or cellular machinery that do certain work in the body. Um, so one of the purposes of manganese is to act as an antioxidant. And the name of the enzyme is called manganese superoxide dismutase. And the function of this enzyme is simply to clean up the byproducts of the energy that's produced in the mitochondria. 90% uh, of the oxygen in the cells are used by the mitochondria. So you have a lot of oxygen burning a lot of fuel and giving off uh, some byproducts. And so this enzyme will help to stabilize the oxidative free radicals and it turns it into hydrogen peroxide and water. Okay, so basically it's an antioxidant that actually uh, handles some of the free radical damage that comes off the metabolism from the mitochondria. Uh, the next one would be gluconeogenesis. And this is basically the production of glucose in the body from non-glucose sources, whether it's protein, fat, or ketones. Your body can make glucose from other things. And so if you're deficient in manganese, uh, there's some studies that show that it will increase your risk of diabetes simply because you're not able to make your own source of glucose. So it's involved with this. It's also involved in detoxifying ammonia, which is a toxic byproduct from protein. So you have protein, digestion, ammonia, and then to urea, which is a less toxic byproduct of protein, which is in the urine. So in order for your body to get rid of excess ammonia, you need manganese. Also, it's involved in the brain in converting glutamate, uh, which is amino acid, to glutamine. So glutamate is excitatory. So if you have too much of this and not enough of that, uh, you're gonna have problems with sleeping. You're gonna have a problem with um, focus. You're gonna be nervous all the time. So there could be a lot of problems with that. Uh, manganese is also involved in bone and cartilage. So if you're deficient, you can have all sorts of structural problems, especially if your mother was deficient and she carried you, you can end up with, um, I don't know, issues with flat feet, potentially scoliosis, uh, problems in bone formation. And then we have uh, wound healing with collagen. So you can see it's involved in so many things. But now let's talk about how you become deficient in manganese. Well, if your liver is damaged, that can do it. Now, whole grains does have manganese, but it also has phytic acid, which actually will block the absorption of manganese. So in nature, sometimes the foods that will give you the nutrient also has things to prevent excessive amounts of it. Uh, and that goes with the herbal teas as well. Teas have tannins, and certain herbs that are high in manganese also are high in tannins, which counter the absorption of manganese. It's probably a, a self-regulating mechanism to make sure you don't overload. And this goes with a lot of different trace minerals. Leafy greens. Uh, now, if you eat spinach, it's high in oxalates, and that can actually block your ability to absorb manganese. But this is the one right here, okay? And that is the hidden source of manganese, glyphosate. If you've never heard of glyphosate, it is the herbicide in GMOs. When you consume GMO foods, which is in a lot of foods, soy, corn, canola oil, in fact, the entire grocery store is filled with GMO foods, which has residues of glyphosate, this is what can block manganese. When an animal, like a cow, for example, consumes their food of soy and corn, which is grown with Roundup Ready glyphosate, this herbicide, the plant will not pull in manganese properly. So this animal is consuming food without manganese. So if you consume the animal that's manganese deficient or you consume the, the plants that are manganese deficient, you're gonna be deficient in manganese and you could have a potential problem with any of these functions right here. 
So what can you do? I think the most important thing is to, as much as possible, do organic foods. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.